98.7 KISS FM, Here I Stand is the name of the album. It's in stores now. Yeah. And we were in the club last night, getting yeah. a lot of love from Usher. The yeah. ladies were. Ladies, I know how you feel. You're probably just as worn out as I am. Yeah. But uh, is that what you're doing on a regular basis? It's hard loving all those women every single night. What, of the week or well, once I mean, a week? Just judging from the realities that you see nowadays, I, I get it in. You know, I, uh, I, I, I really enjoy, you know, what I do. <laughs> <laughs> and you should. Because yeah. you get shown a lot of love as well. You know what, this show it. was specifically designed for my female audience. You know, for the ladies that have been supportive since the very beginning. Right. You know, when I actually performed here, I stand what I had to say to them. It was very real. You know, the fact that, you know, no matter what happens, no matter where we go, you know, that song uniquely was designed, mm -hmm. you know, for, you know, a passionate relationship or an exchange. And it was it was def definitely catered to them or dedicated to them last night in that way. Because no matter how far I've gone, no matter what has happened, where I've been, you've been there for me. That's right. And I thank you so much and just want to do something very special for them. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, put my heart out for them to do some, you know, new records, to do a few old records. I did a few covers. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, just, you know, just, uh, just really making it a, a remarkable time for them to really compliment them. Speaking of a remarkable time, one, one performance by you really stands out, and that was when, it was actually the day before. Um, September 11th, mm -hmm. when you performed with Michael Jackson. Oh, man, you remember that? Yes, I do. And that, that stands out in my mind because I never, ever saw anybody that could really keep up with Michael. Although, at one point, you just gave up and you just said, you know, I can't. Yeah, it, how, how was that for it was, you? It was, it, was an it was an incredible moment. It was, uh, it became playful. Right, you know, uh, exactly. It started off fun <laughs> and it was like intense focus and right. Like, and then you got, you know, Chris Tucker comes out and he's doing his thing. It was, it was fun. It, it, it looked like it was. You know, but, but to be able to pay homage to, you know, the legacy and an icon like Michael Jackson mm -hmm. was incredible. Right. You know, you know, his records have speak have spoken to all of us, and 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 he's been motivation for a lot of us. So, you know, I I, uh, I wanted to take that night to really just say, you know. Thank, thank you. you. Thank yeah. you for inspiring me. You know, thank you for leading the way. And I hope to do the same thing. Hopefully someday that'll be me. Yes. And well, I felt like that last night after playing all those records. Like, yeah. I'm like, man, I got a, I got a heavy catalog. You're well on your way because I have yeah. yet to see somebody who can hang with Michael the yeah. way that you did. And I'm a huge Michael Jackson fan. I was like, what is Asha doing up there? But when you were able to go tit for tat with him, yeah. I said, man, we might be on to the next entertainer. There you go. The, the full service entertainer. 98.7 KISS FM, we're up close and personal with Usher. Here I stand in this studio and it's very difficult to keep my distance, but I'm trying very hard, <laughs> ladies. I'm just going to get one squeeze for all of you. One, two, three. Oh. Yeah! There you go. That's for all my girls out there who've always wanted to uh, squeeze up on Usher. Now, Tell me what burns you up. What burns you up about the media and, and all the things that have been said and all the things it's taken your family through? What burns you up about oh, them? Nothing. No? Nothing. No, no, no. no you, it, doesn't, it doesn't bother you at all? Or how have you learned how to cope with that? Actually, um, I'm very, very comfortable with the fact that people are going to have different opinions. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, and, and that's just what comes with this territory. That's what comes with the territory of being an entertainer, right. to be in the light, and to uh, you know have people have an opinion. You know, mm -hmm. nowadays, people write what they feel, but that doesn't mean any of it's true. So unfortunately, you know, uh, you do have a lot of people who do believe in what they read, but you know, I know the truth. Right. Okay. Well, then that's good. Well, I mean, I I didn't know how you dealt with it because I know you were dealing with a, a new baby, a new marriage, and. You know, every day it just seemed like something else was coming up, and you showed tremendous um, calm. Whenever I saw you in an interview, you had tremendous calm, just like you're showing me right now. Mm -hmm. So that's um, very admirable of you, and it just seems like you've matured a great deal yeah. in the time that you've been. Well, you know, the one good thing that you know is that, you know, there are fans out there who see past anything that may be dramatic as right. it relates to Usher outside of music, because the music should be dramatic. It's always right. been. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, for those fans who've been there dedicated and there for me, you know, I, uh, I thank them. I salute them for making me who I am and standing, you know, through any tumultuous situation.